Welcome back to the channel and thanks for clicking on that thumbnail. Today we're taking a look at the Mach Wheel Obsidian. This is a dual suspension 26 by 4 inch fat tire e-bike with a 1000 watt hub motor. This bike also has something pretty special on it. It has a port where you can plug in an optional inverter and that you can charge up other devices with the bike. You could even purchase the solar panels and charge the battery on the bike. We're going to test ride and review it, share with you some of its specs and features. And if you're interested in this bike, there'll be links in the description. Let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. Okay, it's, uh, it's like 44 degrees right now. Uh, a little chilly, but a nice looking day. And we are taking out the Mach Wheel Obsidian. And what a beautiful bike this is. Look at those smooth welds. I mean, it is a really sharp looking bike. And here we go, we are on the Mach Wheel Obsidian. And uh, this is a sharp looking bike, folks. Let's get a feel for it. I can tell you right now, it's super comfortable just sitting on it. My first impression is, man, this bike is comfortable. And it has that dual suspension and you feel like you are floating over the pavement. And those brakes feel really good. So. So my first impression of this bike already is it is smooth. Let's go right to pedal assist level zero and uh, pedal this bike like a regular pedal bike with no motor assist and uh, no hands. So there you have it. It's got an eight speed Shimano shifter and uh, it is really easy to handle. So you can see we're riding in pedal assist level zero. We have no pedal assist and no hands this bike is balanced perfectly we're in gear three doing about 11 miles per hour actually almost 12. so we're riding this bike like a regular pedal bike and we're going up a slight incline let's drop it down to uh gear one actually up a slight incline in gear one and um <laughs> i'm really my legs are moving really really quick so uh so no pedal assist, up a slight incline, gear one with no hands. I can tell this bike is gonna be a real easy bike to ride. So right out here on the main road, we just kick right up to 25 miles per hour like that. Really simple. This is a smooth riding bike. And uh, man, it is a comfortable, easy bike to ride. We're doing 30 miles an hour, 31. We are, uh, we are jamming with this bike. Up a hill at 30, no problem. Wow, this bike has some giddy up and go. I'm 250 pounds. 511 so uh this bike is hauling almost two people i don't feel like i'm really leaning forward i'm in a pretty uh pretty good upright position and from the looks of it these handlebars are pretty straight across but uh well yeah i'm comfortable and feel like i'm just sitting up straight we hit these bumps look at this these are uh giant roots sticking up out of the pavement and uh, we didn't even feel it. Let's uh, pull over and take a look at this bike and uh, show you what it looks like. So here it is, the uh, Mach Wheel Obsidian. And uh, what a great looking bike it is. I really like the way that black and red match up to each other and it's got such a satiny finish. That black and red have a really nice, um, it's almost like a dull satiny finish. It really looks sharp. We're keeping the bike the way it is out of the box. The only thing that we did was we added a side mirror so that we can ride safe in the road and we put a cell phone mount on the handlebars so we can mount our phone up but that is it. Everything else is stocked the way it is out of the box. And uh, what a sharp looking bike it is. 
And the uh, suspension on this bike is amazing. It even matches the bike. Red and black. So uh, let's, uh, let's get up the road a bit. Show you what this bike is all about. So here we go. So let's see if we have any throttle on pedal assist level zero. And there is no throttle on pedal assist level zero. Let's go up to pedal assist level one and test the throttle out. In pedal assist level one, we have throttle one through five. The throttle is gonna take you right up to uh, 19.9 miles per hour and then cut out. That's what we're gonna have there. Let's go ahead and do a speed test. We're gonna to have to go like zero to 19. Um, 0.8 and then call it 20 because it is it is just cutting us off here we go 0 to 20 let's see what the bike does here so uh, 8 10 miles an hour 15 17 19 there's 20 it was like nine seconds this thousand watt hub motor this thing just kicks right in and goes let's go ahead and give it another shot and see what we get here 10 miles an hour 15 20 it hit 20 that time too so this is probably um, one of the quickest bikes I had to get to 20 miles per hour this thousand watt hub motor is pulling weight and it's doing a good job at it so I'm pleased with that let's take a look at some of the specs on this bike you're gonna have one size on this bike and it's gonna suit most adult riders that are 5.6 to 6.8 bikes gonna come in four colors black and red yellow and black sand camo and jungle camo eight speed shimano trigger shifter so the mockwell branded saddle is pretty wide and uh pretty comfortable feels like it has some pretty decent padding in there so this bike is equipped with the torque sensor which means the more you pedal the more you're going to get out of the motor this bike has dual suspension to the front you're going to have an adjustable suspension with lockout to the back, you're gonna have this DM four point linkage system that's also gonna have compensation and a rebound adjustment. You'll have a nice small but bright front integrated headlight. And to the back, the tail light is gonna be battery powered. So this bike's gonna have some serious giddy up and go with its 90 Newton meters of torque and a 48 volt, 1000 watt brushless hub motor branded mock wheel. The payload capacity is 400 pounds. You're gonna have 26 by four inch Chow Yang tires with a nice aggressive knobby thread on them. So this bike has a nice bright colorful display. You can see it even if you have on polarized sunglasses and it's gonna show you things like your battery power, your speed, your trip, your mode, the time of travel and your pedal assist level and more so to the left side of the handlebars you're going to have a thumb throttle it's going to work in pedal assist level one through five the bike will go up to 20 miles per hour and then cut out with pedal assist you'll be able to go up to 28 to 32 miles per hour you're also going to have your control buttons at the top you'll have power you'll be able to switch your pedal assist levels up and down you'll have a light and a horn you're going to have these really nice ergonomic comfort grips they lock on both ends and they have a nice gel in there to keep some padding on the palm of your hand. It's really comfortable when riding. To the right side, you're gonna have my favorite shifter, the Shimano Trigger Shifter. I do like the fact that you can pop the end cap off and put a mirror at the end so that you can conserve on handlebar space. So you're gonna have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes and Tektro 180 millimeter rotors. A Shimano Altus derailleur. KMC stainless steel chain, metal pedals with reflectors. So the battery is a UL Samsung 48 volt, 19.6 amp hour battery. It's UL safety certified in accordance with UL 2271. So the battery can be charged on or off the bike. To charge the battery on the bike, you're simply going to lift up this little cap and charge it right there. To remove the battery, simply insert the key, turn it, release the safety latch, and the battery will drop right out. It's really simple to put it back in, just 
push it back up and uh, make sure the latch is shut and pull your key out. Simple as that. So the port down here is gonna be for an inverter, which means that you can hook up the inverter and power up other devices, including hooking up solar panels to recharge your battery. This bike is gonna ship as a class three e-bike. The bike weighs 77 pounds. So Mockwheel says this bike's gonna get a range of 60 to 80 miles. I'm sure that's gonna be on like pedal assist level one on flat ground with a light rider. Kickstand is to the back of the bike right where we like to see it so it doesn't interfere with the pedals. Included are front and rear plastic fenders, a single sided chain guard. So if there are specs and features that are important to you that I didn't mention here today, check out the Mach Wheel website for more detailed information. Okay, now that we looked at some of the specs, I thought this would be a good time to cut in and show you a feature that's really unique to this bike. And it's a port where you can plug in an optional 1000 watt inverter. Let's take a look at it. Okay, now we're gonna show you how to start up this snowblower using this e-bike with this inverter. Let's get started. First thing we'll do is take out our inverter. We're gonna pop the cover off here and uh, stick our cord to the inverter right in here. Push it in nice and firm. Because I don't have a mount on the bike for the inverter, I'm just gonna pull the seat post up and just slide our inverter right back onto the seat post. I figure that'll keep it held in a nice spot for us so we can go ahead and plug everything in. So we have one end plugged into the inverter. So then we're gonna plug the other end into the inverter port on our e-bike. Just like that. And now you can see we're plugged into the inverter and we're plugged into the e-bike. Now our next step is gonna to be to power up the inverter. So we'll just hold down the power button. Once powered up, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and switch it to the AC power. So we're gonna hold that down. And now we're on AC. Okay, now that we have everything hooked up on our e-bike, we're gonna go ahead and grab the extension cord so that we can uh, plug it in. The next thing we're gonna do now that we have our extension cord is we're gonna plug it into our inverter, then the snowblower, and hopefully this thing starts up. We'll take the one end of our extension cord and uh, plug it right into the back here, directly into our inverter. And then we'll take the other end of our extension cord and plug it into our snowblower, just like that. So we have our inverter cable going from the inverter into the bike, and then an extension cord going from the inverter into the snowblower. When I push this button, is the bike gonna start our snowblower with the electric start? Here we go. Success! It did it! And there you have it. We just started our snowblower with our e-bike. We're gonna do a pedal assist level test casually pedaling and see how quick we can go in pedal assist level one through five with the cadence sensor. So uh, here we go. Pedal assist level one, eight, nine, 10, 11. Pedal assist level two, 13, 15, 16. Pedal assist level three, 18, 19, 20. Pedal assist level four, 22, 23, 25. And pedal assist level five, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. 30.9, 31.3. So there you have it. The five different pedal assist levels, casually pedaling. Toward the end, we pushed it a little bit harder, but uh, that'll give you an idea of what those uh, pedal assist levels will do for you. Let's check out our GPS and uh, see if this bike is doing what it says it's doing. Okay, here we go, GPS test. 
The GPS says we're doing 16, the bike says 16, 18, 18, 19, 19. The GPS and the bike. The bike's going about a half a mile quicker, maybe than the GPS here, because we're doing 19 on the bike. So uh, let's go ahead and try it again. So the numbers match up when we're going at slower speeds, 11, 11, 13, 13. But as soon as we get up to the higher speed and hold it, at 19 miles per hour. Bike says we're doing 19 and the GPS says we're doing 18. So it's about between a half mile to a mile off. So while pedaling with the torque sensor, let's see how quick we can get to 20 miles per hour in pedal assist level one versus pedal assist level five. So we're gonna pedal as hard and fast as we can. Let's get in gear eight. So we're in the same gear. Here we go, pedal assist level one. And I'm standing right up on them pedals. We're doing 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18. And there's 20. So it took us, I think it took us about 20 seconds to get there. Let's, uh, Let's see how quick we get there on pedal assist level five. Stop, reset. So uh, here we go. Pedal assist level five from zero. And here we go. 10, 15, 20. So uh, seven to eight seconds on pedal assist level five. So that's just gonna show you, you can get to 20 miles per hour in pedal assist level one or five, it's just pedal assist level five is gonna get you there a lot quicker. We're gonna do a brake test. We're gonna use this white line as our stopping point and each parking space is nine feet. So uh, let's do this. Here we go, let's start at 20 miles per hour and uh, do a brake test. So 20 miles per hour, and we'll uh, slam on them brakes and see how we do here. Here we go. Let's get this bike to 20 miles per hour. There's 19, there's 20. Right here. Okay, that's two and a half spaces. Let's, uh, let's do it again. Here we go. 20 miles per hour and slam on them brakes. 16, 18, there's 20, there's 20. About oh, two and a half spaces. Them brakes are doing what they need to. Tektro brakes. Let's get it as quick as we can go. We are out to the end of the parking lot. Let's do it. Here we go, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27. There we go. Okay, that was either 26 or 27 in four parking spaces. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's see how this bike handles off-road. Yeah. Well. Here we go. Here's going to be some pretty tough roots right here. No problem at all. Shooting right through there. That is just great. This bike is going to handle great through here. No matter what we throw at it, it looks like. This looks like it's going to be a really rough ride here. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thousand watt hub motor. Let's take it uphill here. Let's see what we can do. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Nice. I'll take that. Shot us right back up the hill with ease.
Yeah. Big root. Some more real rough roots right through here. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's almost like uh, I'm floating over them. I mean, it feels like this thing is meant for this kind of terrain. No doubt about it. Look at that. Here we go. Yeah. It's hard to get perspective on a GoPro to see what we just came down, but that uh, that's no joke. And uh, we're gonna try and ride right back up it with this 1,000 watt hub motor. Here we go. And uh, can you believe we're to the top of the hill? Wow, let's ride through here. I mean, plotting our own course. That would hurt. Got to be careful riding through here. You want to make sure you're uh, paying attention. You don't want to end up rolling down a hill. I don't think you're meant to go 20 miles per hour through the woods here. This boy can do it. Tight fit. We got it. Here we go. Yeah. We are, uh, we're only doing 22 miles per hour across the lawn. 25. <laughs> this bike, this bike is quick. I know there's a puddle over here. I don't want to eat it. Wow. So uh, that just goes to show you, we can take this bike off road, no problem. This bike is so much fun to ride. It is a smooth ride. You can feel the bike wants to give you so much more power, but it's uh, it's having to back off. I like these 26 by four inch fat tires. I like the fact that it comes with front and rear fenders. I like the fact that you can see this display in daylight and with sunglasses on. The welds are amazing on this bike and the colors contrast each other great. This black and red satin finish is really cool looking. I like that it has front and rear adjustable suspension on both ends. And I'll tell you what, these hand grips are really comfortable. My favorite shifter is this trigger shifter on all bikes. So there's a lot going for it on this bike and a lot to like. So if you're interested in a mock wheel obsidian, there'll be links in the description for you to purchase your own. So like always, ride safe. Have fun. See ya.